Hello guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Kasturi, son of your logical reasoning tutor. I have given my cat, Zat, and other MBA entrance exams and have scored 98 percentile plus in all of them. I've done my MBA from Xavier Institute of Management, Bhuvaneshwar, and I have pretty much experience in teaching logical reasoning and quantitative ability. So let's get started with today's topic. Today I will be covering a topic from logical reasoning which deals with calendars. Guys, I have chosen this topic because this topic, the questions in this topic sound very tricky, but they are actually very simple if you know the concept. So here I'm going to make the concept really simple for you so that you can solve the questions based on calendar in your exams correctly and within a short time. So let's get started. But before starting, if you're new to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel by pressing the bell icon here and do comment uh, if at all you like our videos or if you have any doubt. So let's get started with calendars. Now this is something that I'm going to cover in the coming videos of calendar. So I'm going to explain you first what is a year concept, what is a leap year and what is an ordinary year. Then we are going to learn how exactly we can identify leap year. So this goes in my video one and my video two is going to consist of what exactly are odd days and how to calculate odd days. So this is in video number two and in video number three we are going to solve few questions and we are going to see how to calculate that which date falls on which day of the week. So let's see the video number one wherein we are going to study about leap year and ordinary year. So guys you must have known that there are there is a concept of leap year. I am sure 80% of you are aware what exactly a leap year is. In all the years, all other months are same except for February. February is a month which is different in a leap year. In a leap year, February has 29 days, whereas in ordinary years, February has just 28 days. So in a leap year, you have February with 29 days. And in an ordinary year, you have February, which is having just 28 days. Also, a leap year comes once in every four years. So you have three years which are ordinary and then you have one leap year. So we have three ordinary years and then we have one leap year. So the current year which is 2020 is a leap year because in this year February had 29 days and not 28 days. So I hope the concept of what exactly a leap year is is clear to you. Now guys in a ordinary year there are 365 days but in a leap year there are 366 days because of additional one day which is there in the month of February. So how exactly to find out if a year is a leap year? Leap year comes after every four years. So we have three ordinary years and then we have a leap year. Again we have three ordinary years and then we have a leap year. So that it is very easy to identify a leap year based on the year. So for example, we have 2020 which I already told you is a leap year. All we need to do is we have to divide the last two digits by 4 and see if the year is divisible by 4. If at all the last two digits are divisible by 4, are completely divisible by 4, then that year is a leap year. So we have this test wherein we just divide the last two digits by four. If they are completely divisible, then that particular year is a leap year. So like for example, in 2020, if we divide the last two digits, which is 20 by four, we get the answer five. It is completely divisible by four. So this year is a leap year. Similarly, let's take an example of 2018. So 2018, the last two digits are 18. If we divide it by 4, then we get the remainder as 2 and it is not completely divisible by 4. So this year was not a leap year. So 2018, it was just an ordinary year. It was not a leap year. However, there is an exception to this rule. There is a concept called a century year. 
Now what exactly is a century year? Now you can see this year. This year is divisible by 100. This year was is divisible by 100 because the last two digits are 0, 0. So this year is divisible by 100. So any year which is divisible by 100 is called as a century year. Century itself means 100. So any year which is divisible by 100, it is a century year. So once you see a century year, that is once you see that the last two digits of a year are 0, 0, then you don't have to divide it by 4, but you have to divide it by 400 and see if you're getting any remainder. Now if at all you see this year 2000 and you divide it by 400, if you divide by 400, you get 5. So again it is completely divisible by 400. So the year 2000 was also a leap year. Now let us see what happens if a year is not divisible by 4. Like we saw this year 2018 which is not completely divisible by 4 then that year is an ordinary year. Similarly if a century year say 2100 now in this year, it is a century year and if you divide it by 400, then you get the reminder as 1. So this is not completely divisible by 400. So this year is also an ordinary year. So whichever year it is not divi divisible by 4 or 400, if at all it is a century year, then that particular year is called as ordinary year. And like, like we know, an ordinary year has 365 days and a leap year has 366 days. A leap year has 29 days in February and an ordinary, ordinary year has 28 days in February. So it is simple, right? Now let's do a small exercise, small Small quick exercise wherein we'll identify if a particular year is leap year or not. So we have 1967 divided by 4. This is not even an even number. So this is definitely an ordinary year. This is not getting divisible by 4. 2000. Guys, now this is a century year because the last two digits are 0, 0. So let's divide it by 400. Yes, the divisor is the remainder is 0. This is completely divisible by 400. So it is a leap year. 2010. 2010. 10 divided by 4. The remainder is coming 2. It is not completely divisible. So it is an ordinary year. 2020. Divide 20 by 4. Yes, the divisor is the remainder is 0. And it is completely divisible. So it is a leap year. 1844. Divide the last two digits. 44 by 4. And you get the answer 11. Yes, it is a leap year. 1582. Divide the last two digits by 4. Divide 82 by 4. You will get the remainder as 2. No, it is not a leap year because it is not completely divisible by 4. 1090. Divide the last two digits by 4. 90 is not divisible by 4. So you get it as an ordinary year. 1200. This is again a century year because the last two digits are 0, 0. Divide this by 400. Let's see what we get. We get the answer as 3. Yes, this is a leap year because 1200 is completely divisible by 400. So guys, I hope you know how exactly to identify a leap year and an ordinary year and you know the characteristics of leap year. In the next video, we will study about odd days. That is it for this video. Stay tuned and do comment if you like this video. Thank you.